What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be making Minecraft in Scratch, but how the creators of Scratch intended it to be made. So in case you guys didn't know, um the creators uh, of some Scratch creators have been basically defying Scratch rules by making an actual 3D game in Scratch and it's a Minecraft lookalike. So today we are gonna be making it um as intended. So, to get started, we are just going to make the hand. Okay, guys, so we have made the hand, and it looks pretty good if I say so myself. Now, to make the actual game mechanic of looking, making it look like we're going forward backwards, I'm just going to make the size decrease of a tree, and then, um, and then to jump, the tree just moves down or up. So... We're going to start walking on the tree right now. Okay, so doesn't this look like Minecraft? Okay, now we have our grass. Um, we don't need to put too much detail to this because it's just grass. So this seems good. Now we need a background, and I'm just going to make a simple little uh, cloudy scene. Okay, guys, so this is how it looks. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but I think it should do. So now to actually code it, this is going to be the best part. We are going to start off by adding some uh, when the key is pressed. So we're going to start off with W. So we can just do that. And we're not going to be using the simple move 10 steps because that only goes in one axis. So what we can do is we can make it change um, the Y. Oh, wait, no, we don't want it to change the direction. We want it to change size. So first, we need to add a green flag clicked and make it so the size of it automatically gets sent to 100. Now we need it to change by a certain size when you go forward. Let's see how this looks. Wait, or do we want it to? Let's just see if this is correct. Yep, that looks pretty correct to me. Okay, guys, so now all we have to do is duplicate nope not add a note to it duplicate it put it right here make it negative 10 then we have to change this to um s so now boom we can move forward and backward pretty smoothly the only problem is there's no limit on how far for moving forward it's fine but for moving backwards it's not so we can just add a simple th um check all to make sure that it's uh it's not less than a certain amount of size. All right, so we have this. So basically what happens is it broadcasts, broadcasts a signal called grass move. Well, we're gonna make the grass move. So to do this, we are just going to make it, when the green flag clicked, we are going to make, we're just going to make the default settings that way now, the position and the size it is just in case we change it to anything else so now that that's done when I receive grass move we're gonna make grass move so that right there once it does that we're going to make it go right about or instead of moving it hold on let me just see this oh we have to uh, we need to make it go to the back layer so go to back layer and we're going to make this happen forever. And we are going to make this go to the front layer forever. I'm pretty sure for the project there won't be much action for the hand. Maybe we can add some animation, but um, animation in Scratch isn't really easy. So, uh, yeah. Wait, guys, I just thought of something. Maybe instead of changing the size... We just need to change the size of the sprite. Gee. Okay, let's see if this somewhat matches. Yeah, that works. Okay, guys, so now it, it should work. Yes, it does. Perfect. So now we just need to do this a bunch more times just so we can get a good effect. Ah. Okay, you guys, now we just need to make the checker for different sizes. So right now we only have it for the 70. Now we need to make it for the 60. 
and make it broadcast a different signal. Wait a second. I have an idea. Instead of it going to Assault and Run, we can just simply make it go to the next costume, and we can just make a checkle for if it is about to repeat and go to the first costume again, because otherwise that will look um, very weird. So, we just need to make it go next costume. And I think that just did it way simple, I think. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, that's because it does it forever. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, never mind, we have to do things the hard way. <sighs> but we need to make it broadcast a different signal. We can call it grass. Oh, we can call it grass. Move the sequel. <laughs> Okay, I know I spelled that wrong, but it is okay. So, when I receive Grass Move the sequel, we're gonna change it to Costume 3, and then we just need to make another one for this, and it should be good to go. Okay, guys, this is what we have so far. It does work. It works pretty well, if I do say so myself. So now we have to add a function to make it look around, which I'm not necessarily looking forward to do. But hopefully this will be way more simple than I think otherwise. Oh boy. We are going to make the change by X slightly more sensitive. So it feels more like looking around. Alright, let's just see how this looks. It doesn't really look like moving around because of the background. That's the only thing, so, uh, maybe we can just get rid of the clouds? I'm not sure if that will make a difference, but we will see. Okay, so, I mean, does it look like the tree just grew legs and is literally walking away? Yes, indeed it is. Is it bad? Uh... No, does it, um, fulfill the, uh, standards of the game we're making? Well, yes it does. So, as you can see, we can look around, we can move forward and backwards, we can, um, do all this cool stuff. Okay, you know what? We're, we're just gonna actually change these white arrows to, um... W, A, S, and D, so we're going to make this into a um, D, and we're going to make this into an A, and as you can see, we can um, move left, oh wait, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to invert these two to make this D, and make this A, alright, let's see if this somewhat feels like Minecraft. Oh wait, before we end this video, we need one more key important thing of Minecraft. Jumping. Okay guys, I added this little coastal thing, and I don't think I'm going to be adding jump, because this is supposed to be pretty basic, and I don't want to add anything too fancy, even though it's probably just going to be making these two sprites just jump up for a second. But... More or less, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy what you see, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.